Hey guys, um, it's been a while that I've done any wig reviews, but recently I've been testing out some wigs and I figured I would tell you about them um, in advance. I have my finger blacked out, it's kind of swollen, it, I can't really bend it, so if you notice that, it's there. Um, <clears throat> the wig I'm wearing right now is also Ava hair, which is the wigs that I'm going to be reviewing today. Um, the ones I'm going to be reviewing today are all um, colorful ones, um, and maybe further in time I'll do like more natural ones. Um, anyways, so this is the first wig. I don't remember the names, but I'll uh, link them below uh, once I find them. Um, so this is like a peachy one. It came super like wavy and... Um, just very poofy and when I wore it it just did not suit me at all so I ended up straightening it and that's the great thing about these wigs all three that I'm going to show you um they're fine with heat um even when it was wavy the quality was great and after straightening it nothing changed like it's still super soft um and thick but not too thick to the point where it looks fake um which can be a problem um the good thing also is that the roots are put farther apart in the first uh, little section and then after um, they kind of disappear but it doesn't really matter at that point because the media eye will not see that um, which definitely helps make this wig look super natural um, I've worn this one a bit and it hasn't tangled at all actually which I was really surprised about and I feel like it's not super shiny in a good way so it doesn't look like particularly synthetic hair um, I've also seen a bunch of people online um, doing like looks with this wig, like putting the hair up, so that's definitely an option. I don't, I don't really know what to do with hair, so I don't do that, but definitely um, this one also works with like space buns or top knots or whatever you want to do. Um, and yeah, I was honestly really impressed. Also with like the way that the color blends from the top into the orange was really nice because it's not abrupt, it's super subtle. So. That was that. The next wig is this pink one. Um, I don't know if you can really tell, but with this one, the roots are not black but brown. Hopefully, you can see that. Um, this one also, this one came not wavy but straight up curls. And the thing is, like the curls made it look super short, and it kind of gave a mom vibe, um, which was funny at first. But it's just like realistically, I wouldn't really wear that out because it really just did give a mom kind of vibe or a vibe that didn't suit my face anyways. So I straightened this one too and I actually really like how it straightened out. I was kind of worried because when hair is curly or wavy obviously you can't tell how if all the lengths are gonna end up matching up but here they don't match up but they do this kind of like uh, what's the word I'm looking for? God damn it. It looks like it's layered properly. That's what I was looking for. Um, so it looks really good with straight hair and again here no quality was lost after straightening it which I was kind of worried about because I've never really straightened wigs until I did this in the orange, uh, the peachy one. Again with the roots it's the same thing. Um, they come up, this one actually comes up farther, it comes up into like here so you have this much of uh, like spaced out roots where you know you can put concealer and make it look like it's part of your scalp. Um, then after that it kind of disappears but it's fine. Also, I forgot to mention before, but I'll mention it now. All these wigs are lace front and they all have these kinds of adjustments. Um, and yeah, both of, both of these, the orange and the pink, are both kind of what I'd call like mid-length. Well, this is actually quite a bit shorter now that I notice, but these are both um, very easy lengths I find for wigs just because like this doesn't, in my experience, these don't tangle and especially these ones from Ava Hair don't tangle. So I would highly recommend these to anyone and I feel like the price points are particularly fair considering that in the past I've bought Powder Room D and I was really impressed at first but as I've been discovering Ava Hair I'm less impressed with Powder Room D because they charge you like 140 per wig and I don't think they're better quality than these ones so. Finally there's this oof, Kylie Jenner inspired wig which is super long. Um, now this wig is also super pretty. The blend of the ombre is awesome like at the back like it goes black for longer so it looks natural and 
not just like a chopped block of color. Um, I really like this wig. This one, I, I, I feel like it's shinier just because it's a lighter color. Um, I don't know, I feel like oftentimes with wigs, mint greens tend to be a little, a little shiny. Um, this one came straight. I mean, I think this would look awesome wavy, but I feel like that would take a really long time. Um, I wore this one out for, I want to say like two hours, and I wore it with a beanie, like not glued on or anything, so it was just literally put on. And I came home with a significant amount of knots. Now, obviously, this is a long, long wig, so that's to be expected. However, one thing that I try to take note of with wigs is how difficult it is to comb out these knots. Now, I have a detangling brush like this, and I just detangled this, and it took less than five minutes for a bunch of knots, which I think is pretty good, and like, I think like three hairs came out, so I thought that was really impressive that it doesn't really shed and that it untangles easily, because realistically, no wig this long will not not tangle. So I was really impressed with that, but that's definitely something to keep in mind, especially if uh, you haven't had a wig before. Um, this is a little bit higher maintenance than those. This being said, this one could also be great if you're intending on braiding and stuff like that, just in order to keep it, you know, as unknotted as possible. Um, this one also has the same inside as the other ones, and these are all lace front wigs. Um, honestly, I feel like at this point in time, this is my favorite brand of wigs. I have by far the most wigs of this brand, and I have tried, if you, like, my previous video might come up in the recommended, I'm not sure, but I have done Wig is Fashion, Everyday Wigs, um, Powder Room D, um, I'm about to get some Donna Love hair because I know some people ask me to check that. Um, and by far, this is my favorite brand. Um, obviously, I'm not affiliated or paid to say this, um, but I'm definitely the most impressed with their quality and also their customer service because this one, this wig that I ordered was originally supposed to be in black, and five minutes after ordering it, I got an email saying, like, hey, like, we don't have black anymore. Do you want to pick another color? And I picked another color, and it was super smooth. I can't say I've had super smooth... Um, interactions with other customer service. Um, I do know that in comparison to these wigs, Powder Room D knotted a lot more to the point where one was so knotted I have to ask them for a replacement. Um, so I definitely would recommend these and also because they have a huge range of colors and cuts and stuff, which I'll get into because I'll probably do multiple videos about this so I don't do one video with like a thousand wigs. But yeah, um, thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful to you guys. And I'll probably be uploading another kind of video like this soon.